Alrighty, here we are. The next day we glued the top on the cello. Of course, you're looking at the back. I can't see too well because it's taking up the whole bench here. We'll pull the camera back and you can see it's got all the clamps from uh, one end to the other. But we're looking at the back because when you glue it, you want to have the glue uh, not drip. If the top was up here, you put the glue in, it would drip down the side. So it avoids dripping. You keep the top on the bottom when you're gluing it. Anyway, I should probably set this up somewhere else so you can see what's going on there. It's right up here. Good. Yeah, cord out of the way. All right, so this had just enough clamps to get all the way around. It took several hours, <clears throat> by the way, two, uh, two or two and a half, maybe. You can't do it all at once because the glue dries within a few minutes it starts to gel. <coughs> so the, <coughs> we use this cardboard to support the uh, instrument while we're applying the clamps. Cardboard box. First thing we glued was the two ends because it has a pin there to set the top. Now let's flip it over here. Here's the top. That's what was glued on. Oh, nice tone. And by the way, we uh, checked the tone on the top before we set it on there. It was hitting a D in one spot. And, uh, you see, you get different tones depending on where you hit it because this is a, with the base bar, it divides it into a, a small area here. And a little larger area here, larger area there, and the largest area there. So you get a higher pitch up there than down here. So you get several pitches and overtones. Now we can take the clamps off. These clamps we made here will work for bass or cello. See how it came out. Sometimes you got to wrestle with the wood because it sits for a while with the top off, it loses its shape, so you got to push it back into shape. We got the big clamps first. tension to uh, clamp it. You don't want to over tighten this. You could crush the edge. Unless you have all heard them clamps. We've got three or four different kinds of clamps we use on this. This is the heard them, so-called heard them, because they're made in Germany by the heard them company. And it's got a nice, whoop, the camera used to be over there. Yeah, to hurt them as a ledge so you don't crush the uh, edge. But they're expensive. We didn't, you don't have enough to do the whole cello with them. Yeah, I've got the others. 
direction. Tighten from the other direction. That we are working on we can go one way and then the other way. As long as we get out in there, timely manner. Out of class. Yeah, I should have covered them for fun. I guess you can tell them in the picture. I have to redo that. This way, according to type. Yeah, I'll put the rest of those away a little later. And now we can see. How well it fits and the corners are the most important if we were able to follow the original lines pretty much all the way around oh, that a little bit blue there yeah now we're cleaning off the yeah the uh, residue that you can get all the little tiny spots most of the glue is cleaned up pretty well. There's nothing in there. Go around the edge with some nice warm water. Let that sit for a minute. Using a rag, you can feel the sharp little spots where the glue is hardened up and didn't get cleaned. Still a lot of dirt on this thing from years. Hello. How you doing? Hey, I'm just, um, do you have a business card? Yeah, right there. I'm probably blind. Oh, duh. Um, I was in here oh, three weeks ago or so, and I bought a. Remember, I asked you for sheet music for rock and roll. For, yeah. Yeah, well, that's my eye doctor. <laughs> and I gave that to him. What does that mean on your front window? Luthier? Yeah, is that you? Yeah. Are you like something special? <laughs> yeah, it comes from the term uh, loot maker. Which is a luthier. And back in the day, gotcha. the loot makers gotcha. would also repair all the other instruments. I mean, I'm a. Uh, I play sure. no stringed instruments. Uh, I was totally amazed. I'm a hot rodder. I'm an engineer. I build cars. And I've built some famous cars. And when I walked in your store, it's like, man, this is like a really trick hot rod shop. But you sell stringed instruments. Yeah. Well, we're, we're hot rod string instruments. That's what we do. <laughs> um, All right, this is clean now. We'll proceed with uh, touching up the varnish next. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, did I interrupt you?